going to talk all day, but I got an opportunity to sit in the car with Tom South and, and we're just leaving Port Adelaide and there's a massive crowd. I thought I would show you what it looks like as we roll away for the opening round, opening stage, opening race of the 2018 World Tour. I was going to say, we just heard Radio Tour for the first time, as you can hear, and I'm going to ask Tom one quick question on camera. Who's going to win today? Uh, Caleb. Caleb. So a fairly standard recipe for today. A break will go, three or four guys. They'll get about four and a half minutes, and then you chase. Less than that, I would say. Three minutes, two and a half. Okay. Three minutes tops. Um, the only thing I see making a slight difference is whether Orica lost a bit of confidence and they try and um, sort of Mexican standoff Bora to ride. But I think they'll back Caleb pretty hard and they'll ride um, today, I believe. Okay. I'm not going to talk to him all day. We're in car 14. And for those who don't know, on the first day, it comes out of a random draw of teams. Oh, wow. Or someone nearly hit us. Probably Uni SA. It was. It was. And uh, I've got Frederick in the back. Hello, Fred. Hi. This is the mechanic. He's French. Yes, I am. We. Oui. C'est ça. C'est ça. Bon. <laughs> Feeding from the car starts kilometre 20. Kilometre 20 today, okay? Who would have thought it but Will Clark went on the attack? He can't help himself, really, can he? I oh, was under uh, instructions. We've uh -huh. got, uh, as like I said, we want the race going in the favour of the climbers. So all time bonuses are a problem for us. Mm -hmm. Jay McCarthy or Hassie are taking time bonuses; they're a problem. Mm -hmm. Okay, nice job, Will. No time gap yet, but the bunch is rolling very steady. And we remember that it's the bunch that decides. Okay, so not too much out there today. Focus on the KOM first. Good job. It's time. We're going up to the break. Boys, I'm just going up and sort of go out, and then I'll be ready for you guys in 20 minutes. Sprint, yeah? You don't have to put much into it. Orica and uh, BMC are already riding. Orica are going to ride for the sprint, so we just go for the KOM, yeah? I'll come and feed you in a second, I'm going to go back. Once it's open, 5k. Right here. Simon, yellow shoes in your bag. Yellow shoes, are these correct? Have me, sorry. Mitch, watch you, Mitch. Oh. Sorry, mate. Mitch. Okay, Mitch wants his white shoes.
we'll go up. I think I'm going to tell Will, but just to stop, just to stop riding, because we we all want to open the race again. Okay. Yeah. Oh, at the minute, they're just going to leave two guys out there. I'm going to see how it is, but at the minute they're just leaving two guys out there, and there's still intermediate bonuses. We don't really have much more to gain out there, unless for the sprint. Taking the intermediates is the only thing, but I'm thinking if we open the race before, maybe another attack comes before. It's a bit of risk, but. Would you like us to attack? Well, I don't want that. I don't want that intermediate to go to Jay McCarthy. You know what I mean? So maybe we leave the two out there and we just try and pull something off just before the intermediate. It's only a second. It's one why second. Why don't they just leave the bike away now? Yeah, they will. But they, they can ride easy as fuck in the front now. Yeah. Like, because the bunch will shit themselves if the, if the gap comes down. The bunch will just go super easy. Yeah, that's true. Which suits Wilbur. <laughs> Well, that's it, Will on his own, at the front of the race. Yep, and no radio contact. And that's pretty much that. 25k to go. And Will Clark's 25 seconds ahead. But he's going to go to the podium to collect the prize for the most aggressive rider in stage one. So well done, Will. Every year they won the first stage. Collarbone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Oh.